What's up and welcome to today's episode of the Yacht Yacht Show where I'm about to show you one of the hogs that I caught. It's been a little bit. I was saving this video for this big hog waiting on a uh, YouTube sponsor for this video. Did not get one so play it anyway. <laughs> so I was waiting a little bit but this is a place that I've caught in the duck hole. I caught several several big hogs in this spot and uh, I just hope that uh uh, we can get him out, what you think? But anyway, he's a big old hog. Was not expecting him to be as big as he was, but we got him. Big old teeth on him. Big old head on him. So anyways, what we're doing right here, uh, seriously, seriously, yeah. Y'all do it all. Make sure, Trapper, you need to pee a little bit too, huh? Oh yeah, make sure you mark the territory. <laughs> so, anyway, what we got here, I'll show you what I got right here real quick. Uh, I know. Uh, no. So, <laughs> basically, I'm starting this video off. My son had brought a bunch of corn home, corn, corn home, and a little swimming pool. Where he got the swimming pool from, I don't know where he got the corn from. I don't know, but it rained on it, and now it's done sour. So, anyway, I'm going to load up in these buckets and uh, take it to the camp. And when we take it to the camp, uh, we put it in a hog trap or something, get the hogs coming in and whatnot. But, anywho, I hope... This is good sour corn. They'll love that right there. Man, they'll love that. So we'll load it up on the rain or take it down there where we can. But anyway, before we get started, I want to tell you, man, a lot of people are questioning, like, uh, for this video, I caught several hogs. So they're like, man, where are you? It's the same video, same video. Well, it is. I mean, I can't do, I'm not doing cartwheels to the, to the trap to make it any more interesting. I mean, we're just, we're just catching hogs. That's what we do. Uh, a lot of new people come show up on big hogs. When you show up, uh, they ask me, what do you do with the things? We feed as many people as we can. Some hogs get dumped. That's just what it is. I'm a hired trapper, not a meat trapper. So uh, that being said, I hope you understand a little bit of it anyway. But uh, the state of Mississippi's got a hog problem. So if you don't understand, for all you new people, if you don't understand the difference between hunting and trapping, I ask that you Google it. <laughs> it will help you. <laughs> I always tell people, Googling something will help you before you speak on something you, you don't understand. So anyway, I'm gonna keep loading this up. Y'all watch the video, and uh, I may be in a different spot by the time, but tell me what you think. What's up, guys? We got a pig in the trap. And I'm easing down here. I got the uh, 22 mag. The reason I'm walking down here, we got a storm last night. And I'm in my Chevy truck. And because the Toyota is in the shop. And my Ranger is at a job I was going to start today. I was going to bring the trap and haul the trap down with the Ranger. So yeah, everything's going to be kind of slick. Trying to make sure that wasn't like my walking track or something. I don't know. Anyway, so I got a pig in a trap down here, but I'm actually walking to see how slick it is. It's slick. So, but also I'm walking it because it's early. When I get to the field, I'll make sure there's no other hogs in there. So, and I won't have my flash on there. So anyway, we're gonna ease down here and see. Then we'll ease up to the trap. Get the hog knocked down. I'll come back maybe with my truck. We'll see. It's pretty little slick. So, anyway, what we're doing. And boar hog is already ain't liking it. Y'all, he just got me nasty. <laughs> Pretty 
pretty decent, pretty decent of warhol. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Well, you got him knocked down. If I had to guess, that 22 mag, as loud as it is, if there's people hunting around here, they'll be like, ain't it supposed to be bow season? <laughs> oh, anyway, pretty good to that boar haul. Man, see, I bring that 22 mag. I bring that 22 mag. Let's see if I can turn around this way. So maybe for more light, I don't know. But I bring the 22 mag in case when I when I come down here, I'm walking, and there's a hog or something in this field. That 22 mag, I hit them in the ear hole, you know, if I aim straight, and kill them. But it's a lot of gun for inside the trap. I mean, it's just a lot of gun, but it causes a lot of blood and whatnot. But anyway, I had a guy the other day call me a clown for using a high power rifle with hogs in a trap. And I don't mean this for everybody up north, but this guy was from Michigan. I'm gonna be straight up with you. Y'all got people putting fish weights and fish to win fish tournament. I don't need somebody to tell me what kind of a clown <laughs> for using a high power rifle for hogs in a trap. <laughs> Uh, if we're gonna be bunched together, where everybody from the south is a redneck uh, hillbilly, then by God, <laughs> uh, everybody from the north, man, <laughs> they was killing me. But no, I'm just talking mess right there. So anyway, worry about clowns like that. I worry about the great support that I get through through you other people. And uh, but anyway, we got a big boar hog down. That's a little slick. But I think we're gonna pull the Chevy in here. <laughs> See if we can't at least get him drug out. So uh, anyway, let's go. Just gonna show you. And you may have seen this in the previous video, I don't know. See all this pipe? It's going there. Got pipe across the bridge. That's where they pump. And the water gets on up. It's time to uh, put water in these duck holes. They'll hook a pump to all that and it'll pump water out of that creek into these duck holes. And then the duck and other wildlife come in here and rest in the wintertime and feed. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Good duck food in there. Good grass with head on it. Other, other holes destroyed by the hog, so. Yeah. Let's go. Forward drive. We are in. And let's see where we can go. Slick. Oh. I don't know, guys. I don't know about this. I got street tires on. That's the only thing that scares me. Yeah, I don't know. Let me... <laughs> I tried to rethink it. It's slick. It's not that I'm worried about stuck. It's just so slick, and I got street tires. But I don't want to drag that hog so far. Oh, I'm gonna let you ride with me because I don't know what we're supposed to get into. Ooh. Ooh. Hit that bump pretty good. Just stay going. Just trying to stay going. <laughs> the mosquitoes got me itching, old son. Well, yeah. come up here. And see if we can't get him loaded up. He's just sleeping. Slide. 
thing I'll do is I'll go on it. Go on back up that dude. Kinda in a hurry. Oh. Uh, what I did is I went on and put a bag of corn. I went in this gate right here and put a bag of corn over because it was so scope that 22 mag just makes them bleed out. Everybody's always worried about them bleeding. Do you bleed them out? Well, they bleed out. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I also want to thank uh, one of you guys who sent me, messaged me and said they want to send me some gloves. I didn't know what kind of gloves. They sent me two boxes of these gloves. So <clears throat> I appreciate it. I like when people, uh, I like when people send me stuff. <laughs> it's not that it's just free. I just like when people nice enough to do that so i got a box for each truck if i ever get my other truck back <sighs> anyway be careful on this one the winch cable's got a bunch of frays in it this thing is sticky so, so i'm sure the only reason I'm videoing this part, a lot of people want to know how, like how does this trap go up, it side winds down, stuff like that, so I'm just showing, cable comes down, man, I really need leather gloves on, I guess, this thing's so, I ain't got enough, little, little short, story of my life. <laughs> I'll tell my, <laughs> my pullovers a little short. <laughs> I don't know if I grew or the uh, dryer shrunk it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna leave cable on and put the safety chain on just for now until I get him out. But like I said, that whole guy camera system, it'll work with anything. <laughs> All right, get a drug out. This is those pocket drags I was talking about. We're actually, or have been, people have been asking, I've been talking about. It. We're actually trying to get these on the Yacht Yacht channel, on the yachtyacht.com. So, Maybe by the time this video comes out, it will be there. So y'all check it out. Go to yachtyacht.com. And uh, these will be great for dragging deer, coyotes, hogs, or whatever. It just gives you a big, a good grip, you know. I don't know what I would have done. I don't know what I did without them. I got some little cutters on them. There's a little hole. Actually gonna leave him right there. I'm gonna tell you why. Not right there, but I'm gonna get out here. Cause I'm gonna leave him on the tailgate until I can get out of here. Anyway, these blow cutters on. 
Anyway. Whew. I'm gonna claim a truck out. I'm gonna claim a truck out. <laughs> well, he got some good fuzzy wuzzies on him. And uh anyway, got this back up, safe chain off, everything, and we are ready. We're gonna get out of here and uh hopefully uh continue to catch here. But if not, you know, this video may be in with another video, so uh we still got more things to do. So, any which way, let's get out of here. Get all this cleaned up and get out of here. Here we go around the corner again. Everybody likes around the corner. Oh, that might be pretty good. Might be a little bit better hole than I thought. No, nah, he just read a little hole. He just read a little hole. I gotta just follow us. There he goes. Right. Let's go in the gate there. Look at that dude right there. Oh, yeah, you got some good teeth in there. All right. Oh, there with that. But anyway. Trying to kick a little dirt, a little blood, but anyway. Dude, that's a tank right there. That's a tank. Can't really tell just yet, but he got them good fuzzy woods. He already got fuzzies on his. <laughs> he already got fuzzy on his woods. Boy. Anyway. I did not know he was that big. I did not. <sighs> He's a good one, though. We'll uh, get this trap up, see if we can't get him out of here. I just come through the little door. Checking him out. Whew. All right, got him drug out. Got him drug out of the trap, put over here. I went out in the creek and got some water. You can kind of see how good a teeth he got. Pretty good teeth there. Good uppers. Yeah. Oh, man. Anyway, good hog. You're a good hog. Oh. Like I said, he ain't no big hog. He's just a good hog with good teeth on him. So, anyway, like I said, I took him down to the creek, got some water, throw it on his head or whatever. I'm going to try to get some pictures and whatnot. And then we figure out how to get this dude loaded up. I really want that head, skin it out, maybe give it away too on the uh, fan subscribers uh, on the yachtyacht.com. So, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to get my buckets up. Oh, boy, I tell you. They're rolling pretty good. I mean, you know, taking pictures and everything. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that dude, though. Look at that dude. Golly, look at that dude. That guy's got some teeth on him, man. That's a good hog. Like I said, he ain't a heavy hog. He's just a good hog. I guess the next thing I'm going to do, we got to see if we can get him loaded up in the back of this truck right here. If we can't, then uh, I'll have to drag him out and do something with him. But I really want that head, so I got to get a knife. I got a knife. I need a blade. Cut his head off. And uh, I guess y'all kind of like... I don't know, do y'all like watching that stuff on my yachtyacht.com? Like, so when you become a fan subscriber to yachtyacht.com, it uh, just shows you stuff like that. Me skinning heads, giving out, and then we'll, uh, I don't boil their head. I just let it soak in five gallon buckets, let it, the meat kind of fall off in and out, in and out with the water. And uh, I just go down there periodically and do as I want to, you know? So anyway, stud hog. I did not know he was that big. I caught him last night. Don't, didn't have the drop on it. Uh, it didn't record the drop for some reason, but. Oh, I did not know, so I, I got up at 6.30 to come this way. Got here at 7.30, and boom. Knocked him in the head, you know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> 
always blows the horn. <laughs> you leave that key fob in there, it's going to blow it. I'm going to get one of these pocket drags right here. And uh, we'll see if we can't get up on this ball. What y'all think? Make sure y'all still in view. Oh, yeah. I'm going to help it out just a little bit right there. And uh, we're going to put it in his mouth. If I can't get him up, guys, I had a 270 core lock in his mouth. And, uh, if I can't get him up, we'll have to do something else. But Ooh. 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 <laughs> oh, come on. Don't you hope. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Now you just gotta get it, you know what I'm saying? Now you just gotta get it. Stop. Stop. Stop, dude, right there. That's a big one. Whew. Man, he got some teeth on. It's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be a pretty skull mount. Come on. Of course, we got him on the tailgate. I mean, that's a Chevrolet tailgate. You see, he's almost stretched out across that thing, man. That's awesome. Oh, man. Just awesome. Anyway, I'm going to roll him back up in there, shut the tailgate, and uh, that'll be the end of this job. So we'll try to go catch some more, you know. But anyway, Whew, let's go get his head cut off. Let's roll. We got to get some breakfast from the traceway. There's a storm coming today. Pretty good one, they say. But uh, anyway, I'm in here looking at spots. Maybe uh, get a deer or whatnot. So uh, I'm not hunting. Uh, so anyway, we, uh, just looking for a spot. So let's get back up to the camp and uh, unload some stuff and then. Uh, I think school's letting out early, so I can get my boy. Oh, right. Well, storms are coming, and we got it under a shed. And I'm gonna take the. I think I'm gonna leave my trailer here. Oh, and whatnot. So, got my bike. I really need to take my bike home and charge it back up, but I ain't loading it up today, and then uh, whatnot. But anywho, that's it. Y'all don't forget to go to. Yawk.com. You can be a fan subscriber and you can watch things normally that you, I can't show on YouTube and maybe some extra stuff. I know one guy said, I pay YouTube premium. I'm not paying for it to see anything else. Well, that's all right. You don't have to. But if you want to and support me, Trailerhood Brotherhood, be much appreciated. But thank you for being here. Any hoes? Ah. School calls said they get out 12.45, so let me go pick up the five-year-old and see what we can get into a little early today. So any which way, appreciate y'all watching. That's the last of the pigs for right now. We're deer hunting. We're fishing to be beaver trapping, coyote trapping, raccoon trapping, and stuff like that. And if you don't believe in that kind of stuff, that's okay too. Just don't click on it. Wait for the whole videos to come back. Just trying to answer things that people say in the comments. But I do appreciate all everybody that's been to this channel and done the things and helped me and helped us grow. Because of y'all, I get to be me. But any which way, y'all know how it goes. Y'all have a good one. And God bless. And it's always Jesus loves you. Oh!